Without a doubt, the recent rise in e-commerce, that's the buying and selling of goods online, has been a major disruptor of the American retail market. Americans pretty much can log in and buy whatever they so desire. Whatever they want, food, electronics, medication, and even firearms. Yes, the convenience and inventory offered by online retailers appears to be a major draw for gun buyers across this country. And to tell us more about this, that's where this gentleman comes in. Jared Smith, President and COO at the publicly traded Ammo Incorporated, which owns GunBroker.com, the largest online marketplace for firearms in the U.S. But we represent GunBroker.com. It is an online trading platform for the exchange of firearms between buyer and seller. We do it in a federally and state compliant way. We're considered by many the gold standard of how firearms should be uh, exchanged between the buyer and the seller. We're roughly, uh, we do roughly somewhere between eight and 10% of the total firearms transactions done in the United States. We do a billion, billion two uh, through the platform every year. And we do that one firearm at a time. And we are shipping, if you're familiar with the platform, we're shipping from the buyer to a federal firearms licensed dealer. And at that point in time, they go through what's called a NICS check, which is the criminal background check that all new gun purchasers um, must go through to uh, receive that firearm. Now, traditional firearm sales have always been a hot topic in regards to safety. And obviously, the idea of adding tech to firearm sales, putting sales online through a broker, has raised a few questions regarding safety in the process of shipping and handling. And Jared Smith explains why transactions made through GunBroker.com are both safe and legally compliant. I think that's one of the misnomers out there is that these guns that are in private individuals' hands or at a reseller of a firearm, when they go through our platform, they are literally, they must be sent to a FFL dealer. And what's an FFL dealer? That stands for the Federal uh, Firearms Licensed Dealer that is allowed to receive that. They take that firearm onto their books, and before they're allowed to hand that firearm off to an individual, they go through that next background check. In fact, GunBroker.com is the largest online marketplace for firearms. The site has over 7.3 million registered users and more than 1.6 million items for sale every day. And with those kinds of numbers, I had to ask the ultimate question for any successful business, what does the future look like for Ammo Incorporated and GunBroker.com? The thing about GunBroker.com and the future for GunBroker.com is that we've done these transactions one firearm at a time, one item at a time. What we're bringing to the platform this summer is the ability to cart up not only the firearm, all the accessories and options that you might want with that firearm. And the other issue with GunBroker.com is that historically we've never internalized credit card processing or offered that as a service. We've always left that between the buyer and the seller for the exchange. So as we built out this platform over the last year, year and a half, this summer we'll be launching not only the carding capacity, but an internal, internalized credit card processing. And then there's an evolution of kind of next steps, being able to offer financing for the firearms, insurance for the firearms, being able to accessorize that firearm with all the other soft goods or anything else that a consumer might want, all in a very federal and compliant solution. The firearm always ships to the federal licensed dealer uh, and the rest of the card would end up going directly to them. 